the rain ever stop? Will we find the look parakeets? Find out on this episode of Natural Inverting. <laughs> Today, we're in the suburbs of Chicago in search of an unlikely bird, the monk parakeet. This South American species first appeared in the United States in the 1960s, and while nobody is quite sure on the details of how they began colonizing North America, it's suspected that the first individuals were escaped pets. Now, these noisy green birds can be found across the country with most reports in the Midwest coming from the Chicago area. We're on our way to look for the monk parakeets. And there's little pockets of these birds that kind of live in different places throughout the U.S. And there's one hot spot in Illinois. And Ryan's been there before to see them, so he should kind of know the lay of the land. And hopefully the weather stays nice and we're able to get some good views. Seeing parrots in the wild is just always an experience because they look like they don't belong, but they're thriving. They're living their best life. We made the trip to the Churchill Woods Forest Preserve where many recent sightings have been recorded in hopes of seeing these fascinating birds for ourselves. Churchill Woods Forest Preserve is a lush green space complete with forests and even a river. It's the perfect habitat for many bird species, but oddly enough, the parakeets find themselves at home at a much more man-made structure on the outskirts of the park. So how well known is it that these are at this location? I think it's pretty well known. There have been the e-birded here a lot for a while. I don't know how many people still go look from the area though. And they're countable, correct? I think so. We drove to a nearby bike path and walked to an electrical utility center where many of the e-bird sightings were listed. Following squawking noises, we ended up scanning electrical towers and transformers, trying to get a look at one of the birds. We found American robins, American goldfinches, and northern cardinals around the electrical complex. Eventually, we noticed something that looked very out of place in this industrial setting. Monk parakeets. They're pretty cute. They're little green guys. Uh, they definitely are nesting in there, which is pretty cool to see. Really weird to see them in such an urban environment, though. Not what you would expect from parrots at all, but that's apparently what parrots do. Monk parakeets are known for making giant nests made out of sticks with multiple cavities inside and a lot of times they make these on power lines and they get so big that they actually short out the power line and can cause electrical fires. Unlike other parrot species, monk parakeets build large and intricate stick nests with many chambers. These nests are sometimes a nuisance to electrical companies when they become too large and need to be removed or managed. These parakeets were constantly getting sticks from nearby trees and constructing their already large nests. These nests are one of the primary reasons monk parakeets are able to survive the harsh midwestern winters of the Chicago area. We moved to the other side of the street where even more monk parakeets were nesting and interacting. Here we got to see the social aspect of how these birds live. I feel like these parrots are different than a lot of other bird species because you can really see the social communication that they have. It seems very rare that you see one alone, they're always in pairs or multiples, and they like to hang out by the nest and fix it up with adding new sticks and constantly chatter at each other. It's weird because you can hear the hum of the wires too, as well as all this parrot chatter and it's just kind of by this bike trail. Kind of a weird contrast. Monk parakeets can be identified by their green back and tail, blue wing feathers, orange bill, and tan gray forehead and underside. They feed on seeds, fruits, and plant material. They are the only parakeets to build stick nests and the only parakeets that communally nest. These stick dwellings can be enormous, having up to 200 nests per structure. Each breeding pair of birds produces around 5 to 8 eggs. In North America, they thrive in urban spaces but live in savannas and woodlands in their native range. Monk parakeets are native to South America, but populations have been able to survive and reproduce in the United States. Dude, they're adorable. I want to take one home and keep it as a pet forever. They've really adapted to this environment. While it certainly felt bizarre to see parakeets in the Midwest, once upon a time, this was not at all an uncommon sight. The now extinct Carolina parakeet once ranged through most of the southeastern United States. 
The last captive member of the species died in 1918, and the species as a whole was listed as extinct in 1920. Considering the fact that parakeets once existed in the United States, some people ponder that these monk parakeets could continue to survive and even play the role of the once numerous Carolina parakeet, possibly increasing their range and making parakeets a more common sight in the region. We certainly enjoyed our experience with these cute and charismatic green birds. We got to see them build nests, communicate, and interact with each other, all within one of the strangest places to find them, just outside of one of the largest cities in the country. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Badgerland Birding. He doesn't know that I'm actually filming him. One of the only birds I've ever seen that's green. <laughs> like just straight up green. Remember the last time I was here, the first one I saw looked just so angry. <laughs> like it was just hunched over and just kind of like looked like it didn't want to exist. He's a cutie. These are just going about doing their parrot thing. That's how I like my parrots. <laughs> I don't like them when they're hunched over and angry. It's funny that they're still working on their nest even though it's huge. <laughs> like, no! Typical, you need to make it bigger! Typical American bird. <laughs> it's like the person that Living has a the mansion. And they're like, we need it bigger!